Hey guys, a uh, new game just came out, the Lucky Squire. We're gonna check it out, play for a few minutes, and, and uh, opening credits, all that good stuff, and then uh, then I'll break up the sessions. Hopefully, this is a, a game I'm gonna enjoy here. So let's press any button. Time to begin. Play the game. New file. Yes. Feeling plucky and you want a challenge, this mode's for you. Story mode, a breezy way to play, relax and enjoy the story. Plucky Squire. Well, let's just do story mode. Once upon a time, there was a plucky squire named Jot. Jot lived in the land of Mojo, a land of creativity. Mojo was ruled by the gentle queen, Chroma. He defended the land from the nefarious sorcerer, Humgrubber. Which everyone very much appreciated. Good lad! Well done! Racky. Jot was also a writer and would transcribe his many adventures in book form. These tales were avidly read by all the people of the land, who found them quite gripping. Jot awoke one fine morning and pluckily leapt from his bed. From afar, he could hear some rather exciting music. He got dressed and went to investigate. Chapter 1 Some Serious Beeswax This was the house of the good wizard, Moonbeer, Jod's close friend and mentor. Ah, Jot, my lad, he explained. I'm on a roll here, traveling to new musical realms. Since you're here, lad, I have a small favor to ask. Wax. I need more wax, lad. To press more records, you know. Would you go to Honey Peak and get some wax from Benny B? Pip here will accompany you.
Okay, so where the hell do we go? Yeah, I know that. Let's knock away. I got that. This one. Phone tower. Okay. Yeah. Oh! Okay. Yay! Honey Peak. This looked really quite precarious. Honey Badger seemed rather annoyed. Jot prepared for a dust up. <laughs> The beast was bested. Yeah. The plucky squire triumphant. Down they fell. Oof. It was time to confer with Moonbeard.
It was Violet. Violet was a trainee witch with a love of art. And Jot's childhood friend. Artwork press square to show in the gallery. Oh, okay. is open. Let's go back down here and get rid of that shrubbery. Just a little bit. Oh, good call.
Alright. Martini. Stone throw bat. Throw your sword to attack enemies or retrieve goodies from a distance. Comfortable arch bro looking bottom uh, I want one more. Uh, Alright. More backtrack here. Oh fine. Alright. E three, no. Let's see how full upgrade. Time to practice throwing your sword. Part two, throw your sword and again with the deal. Oh yeah. That'll be good. Super fun, but that's okay. Cute little glitch bird trophy. All right. Sure. Chapter 2, Tome Tower. Alright, well, you know, this looks like a good place to stop for right now. Our heroes uh, chapter hug one. onto the cliff's edge by their fingernails. When suddenly... Well, I guess we we'll go a little further. They were grabbed. And hoisted up. By whom? By Thrash. Thrash, man. Thrash was a mountain troll. And George and Violet's childhood friend. The trio had not been together for quite a while. And so were very happy to be reunited. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so that's a thing. Yeah, and he just ran right past us. Okay. Uh, there's more than one round to the tower. But okay. Alright. So, before this takes me any further. Well, shit. Where's it going now? Okay. So, I am going to stop right here. Um, this is a... a nice little place to stop finishing chapter one we'll start up chapter two here shortly and um yeah this game has some potential doesn't it? 